Welcome back everybody. Today we're going to be doing a little bit of cooking on the big green egg. I've got two Boston butts that we picked up from Publix in the package. Don't get the ones that are trimmed out of the meat case because they trim a lot of the good stuff off and we want as much flavor as we can. I'll show you what we do for trimming on those which is not usually a lot. Just trim off anything that doesn't look edible in the end. Um, we'll get them seasoned up and then we'll get the big green egg going and I'll show you how we do the meal prep in the end. So. Once the Boston butts are, are cooked all the way through, we'll let them cool down, we'll shred them, put them in a container, and then we'll portion them out, vacuum seal, freeze them, and it makes for really good meals during the week um, when you don't want to take a lot of time you know, prepping or cooking any type of meat. And, and my wife really loves the pulled pork that we do on the Big Green Egg, so we'll get that going in just a minute here, and I'll show you how we do it. Thanks for tuning in. All right, guys, we'll show you how we trim these up now. There's not a lot of trimming. They've already trimmed them. And that's obviously not ideal, but it should be fine because uh, we're going to cut it up anyway. But there's really nothing to worry about on this guy. I mean, you can trim off some of this stuff that you're not going to eat. Any bloodlines, a little fat that may not render. This one has a little bit more on it. Make sure you got a sharp knife. Now you don't have to be real fancy, but we do like to score the fat cap so we can get the seasoning down in there. This obviously is an optional step, but I like to be able to get the seasoning, you know, down into the meat. Today I'm going to use a mustard binder, just regular yellow mustard, and then we're going to use the Tuscan steak seasoning. It's good for beef, pork, chicken, veggies, whatever you got. It's super good. Um, we did this on the pork last time, and we did it two different ways, another seasoning in this, and by far this, this was definitely the best. Not a lot, just enough to get it sticky. And I'll usually season the side going down first. That way when you flip it over, your seasoning's all nice and pretty on top when you, when you go to do it.
that will let that salt get sunk in there and get seasoned up and uh, we'll put it back inside in the cool while we get the egg fired up. Should be about half an hour or so and the egg will be ready. So just to recap, we cooked these on the big green egg, put a little mustard on them, the Cattleman's Tuscan Steak seasoning, and then we cooked them at like 250, 275. Took about seven hours total, wrapped them about 165 degrees. I already peeked at this one, so I know it's good. Let's take a look, Let's see how we did. Look at that juice. gonna get all this shredded up we're gonna put it in the pan just a big green egg pan any square pan you got because we're gonna uh, put them in here then we're gonna probably cut this into six portions and then we'll vacuum seal them and freeze them for our meal prep strategy and look at that I pulled them at like a little over 200 probably 205 degrees. Usually you can pull them as early as um, 203, but these, these went a little bit, a little bit further. Super yummy. Got all this shredded up, mixed up, and into our pan. Never tried that cattleman seasoning it's not a traditional barbecue seasoning but man it does pulled pork unbelievable and this by far is the easiest to shred we've done in a while To shred them inside the aluminum foil because you get to keep all that juice and everything inside your meat because once we vacuum seal these up into you know we'll have decent portions for two people we'll put them in the sous vide um, or you can put them in a pot of water too and, and bring them up to temp but 
usually my wife will get home before me, so she'll throw them in the sous vide. So it'll be ready for meal time when I get home. The other one came out just as good. Let's get this moved over. All right, so I'm gonna get this in the fridge overnight. I'm gonna cover it with some cling wrap. And then uh, once it all solidifies tomorrow, we'll portion it out probably as big as they are. We'll get one, two, three, we'll get eight portions at least out of those two Boston butts, put them in the freezer. And like I said, it's uh, an easy meal time. Look at that piece right there. Gonna have to eat that one. <laughs> That's so good. All right, guys.